What's going on gang? Welcome back to my channel. Welcome here if you've never been here before. There are videos on this channel aside from this one that can help heal more than 90% of any health, wellness, and body image challenge. So please check those out. Today, I was told people have wanted to see more of days in the life, more of a vlog, more of a cheat meal idea. So being that I live in Burlington, it's amazing because just to the east, is Toronto and the west is Niagara Falls and a lot of people think that Niagara Falls is a giant waterfall yeah it is but there's a fun street here it's called Clifton Hill you're gonna see it tons of attractions just a really fun place to go for the day so we're gonna do that check out Rainforest Cafe for some food not being healthy today I had a giant Toblerone shortbread cookie for breakfast And so without further ado, let's go. Most people have a routine for Clifton Hill, the specific attractions or things that they like to do or see in whatever order they like to do them. I have done every attraction on Clifton Hill multiple times over the years. And so today we're just gonna have a look at my favorite go-tos for Clifton Hill, the things that I find to be the most fun, the most delicious, and all of the must do things I think you should do on Clifton Hill. Fun fact, I am a motorcycle enthusiast. I myself ride sport bikes, however I do love the Harley Davidson brand and I've got to say that Claire's Harley Davidson on Clifton Hill is an awesome store that carries things that you can only get in the States from the Harley website. They do not ship to Canada, so I do highly recommend that store if you are a motorcycle or Harley enthusiast yourself. Check out this zip line. This is a fairly new addition to Niagara Falls, Canada, bottom of Clifton Hill area. It's super long and I actually can never find the end of it. This park is called the Oaks Garden Theater. It's at the very base of Clifton Hill and it really is the entranceway to the Queen Victoria Park, which is the key central area of Niagara Parks that showcase the falls. The designers built this in 1937 to capitalize on the natural landscape in an excellent way to showcase the view of both of the falls. Awesome place for photos and picnics if you're lucky enough that it's not too busy. 
Once I get to the bottom of Clifton Hill and check out the falls, my next thing I like to do is to check out Falls Avenue. If you're coming up from viewing the falls, you would be turning right onto Falls Avenue at the base of Clifton Hill. Hard Rock Cafe always has some entertainment outside. Then there's the Coke Bar. I don't know if you're jonesing for a Coke or a float or a Sunday. It's got some seriously unhealthy for you treats, but it's just a fun place to be. Everything is really well done here in terms of decor and product and all of these places connect to each other on the inside so you don't have to be outside in the heat you can walk from one to another right from the coke bar into the hershey's chocolate world store now the baked goods in here are insane i know the fudge factory is amazing but honestly the hershey's chocolate store has some treats like you wouldn't necessarily find unless you were somewhere like disney world and i can honestly say that even though i love the look of it all and i love to just look at it, I haven't ever really indulged here aside from once that I had a ridiculously big cookie the size of my head and I can tell you it's unbelievable so I'm sure everything else tastes delicious too look at the size of these chocolate bars that's not even the biggest one you can buy giant tubs of Hershey's sauce it's ridiculous the biggest chocolate bar you can buy is this one which is apparently the world's largest hershey bar it weighs a ton giant hershey's kisses and then you can make your way over to the reese section everything Reese's. In America, everyone says Reese's, but you really got to picture it like it's someone's name Reese and something that belongs to them. I can guarantee you that is the appropriate way to pronounce it. I have heard people say Reese's and it just doesn't make sense to my Canadian ears. Huge bulk area of every flavor Hershey's Kiss you could ever want and they have buckets you can fill with them. And then usually it ends up being dinner time and we're at the Rainforest Cafe. If you're facing down Clifton Hill, it's near the bottom on the left hand side between the brewery and the distillery. Again, something you're likely to only find places like Disney World. This restaurant exists in Tokyo, London, England, Paris, Dubai, Disney World, and only nine other states, including the Clifton Hill one in Canada to top all of those locations off. It is next level fun. Obviously, giant gift shop, pretty neat things in there, but the menu is so much fun also. There is something on that menu that everybody will enjoy. They also do cater to some specific dietary needs. Please do call them ahead of time to be sure if you have any or your kids have any. And another thing about this restaurant that the kiddos would find interesting is that there is a rainstorm that happens about every 15 minutes. Obviously quite waterless. Nobody likes a soggy dinner, but there are interesting little things that happen where animatronics on the walls move and make sounds and there there is lightning that happens via strobe lights in the ceiling. Please do take note if you have anybody in your party that is epileptic, that just might be a little bit of a problem, but it's just such an awesome atmosphere. It really is what they would call a dining experience, and I just have tons of fun every time I'm here.
rainforest was Disney World Orlando, Florida and Niagara Falls, Canada, this sandwich I cannot deviate from. And who doesn't love the classic bacon cheeseburger? Delicious. And because food porn of the internet always wants to see food going into the face, there we go. First bite. Unbelievably good. I like to let dinner settle with some trips around the awesome, unique little souvenir shops. The things in here are really cool. You can get gifts for anyone here. And you know what? Contrary to popular belief, it's really fairly priced. One of the awesomest things to do is getting wax hands done. You get your hands dipped in wax. You can come and pick them up an hour or two later, I think, some days. And it's just a fun souvenir to have. After that, on to my favorite arcade in the world. I love this arcade. The things to do in here are endless. Again, really fairly priced. You can't really come in here and play one or two games though. You're gonna have to commit, you know, at least a half hour, I think. <laughs> when we were in the Hershey's chocolate store but this is the fudge factory of Clifton Hill and do you remember when you were a kid shoving your face into the pillowcase that sounds terrible of all of the Halloween candy that is what the inside of this store smells like and I have not had a sense of smell in quite a few years but I can still smell that in this store it is second best only to the Hershey's store of awesome unique treats all handmade fudge there oh my goodness it's fresh it's delicious and it's also an excellent place to find souvenirs especially for the american folk if you want real maple so good Check out some of the museums here. They are awesome for all ages. Kids are gonna love these places. Really interesting for adults too. This is the world's tallest dude's chair. Robert Waldo had excessive human growth hormone in his body. He stood eight feet, 11 inches tall and took in 8,000 calories per day. Speaking of calories, Sweet Jesus is one of the favorite dessert spots for people all across Clifton Hill. It's at the very base on the corner of Clifton Hill and it's got some awesome very unique and delicious soft serve ice cream cone concoctions they do not serve this in cups so it is not my cup of tea on a super hot day but delicious takes the cake as the silliest attraction in Clifton Hill, the upside down house where you pay good money to go in there and look at every single thing in that house completely upside down. The wax museums though, unparalleled in skill. Whoever makes these things, okay, except for the rock space. I don't agree with the rock space, slightly off there, but these wax figures are incredibly realistic. So much fun to go in there. There's all kinds of scenes made up and you can have your pictures taken with them. Free roaming all around the wax museum. You can just take your time, see what you want. It's really, really cool. about you but I love an old-fashioned retro candy store this place has candy from across the world it's so awesome for souvenirs and not just candy but fun items 
so that was all she wrote. That was our day at Clifton Hill. Super amounts of fun. Please subscribe to this channel. That really is where the support does come from. Please share this channel because, like I said, more than 90% of the videos on this channel can help heal more than 90% of any health, wellness, and body image challenge. If you thought this video was helpful, entertaining, or informative at all, please give it a thumbs up down there as that really does help support me and the channel as well. If you would like notifications of each time I post a new video, please hit the little bell notification icon down below and you will get notified each time I upload. And until next time, have super amounts of fun in your life and have super amounts of fun being a tourist in your own town. And I'll see you next time. Bye.